and darling viewers, it's Jen here at Check Her Joy, and this time I'm reviewing Pulling Princes by Tyne O'Connell. This is a young adult chick lit novel that focuses on Eclipso Kelly, who is an American teenager who attends a British boarding school. So Eclipso doesn't quite fit in at school. The fact that she's American, the fact that her parents don't have a ton of money, and of course she doesn't have a title. So all these things that make her stand out. She's also uh, an awkward 14 year old um, and she doesn't have money to buy all the most popular fashion makeup stuff that the other girls in her school have. Also Calypso has never kissed a guy and in this boarding school that's a huge deal. One of the things that can gain her social standing is having pulled a lot of guys which is a British expression that means to either have a boyfriend or to kiss him, kiss a guy. Not ever having kissed a boy, never having had a boyfriend. She's pretty low in social sta uh, standings for that also. Calypso is also huge in fencing. Like she, she definitely loves to fence. That's her thing, especially with Saber, which is a really hard form of fencing with a kind of a flat store sword and you're trying to like cut the other person basically um but I mean they're all in like gear to protect you from actually hurting each other but they definitely end up with like a lot of bruises just from the force of impact to make it make the hit register on the um the fencing gear it's all electronic that also kind of stands her apart because none of the popular kids are into Saber. Clipsal's life kind of changes quite a bit when she comes back from vacation in the States and she has a fake boyfriend. One of her mom's uh, assistants has decided to help her out and give her some pictures of him and so she comes back armed with a story about how she's got this great boyfriend and this older guy which is also in give her status and he's gorgeous, so that helps quite a bit. Um, and then the other part of this book is her relationship with the prince, uh, Freddy, who is heir to the British throne. This is an alternate version of UK life where we have a different royal family um, and we have different celebrities. <laughs> Things also change when she manages to catch the prince's eye and she attempts to pull the prince, which is getting a kiss with him. But of course, even that, doesn't quite go as Clips of Plans. I love it. I'd probably describe this book as uh, The Princess Diaries meets Mean Girls set in a British sporting school. So if that sounds appealing to you, this book is really fun. It's a short book too. It's only like 200 pages. It's super quick read. There are four books in the Clips of Chronicles and I super love it. I'm on book two right now. Just plugging my way through these and they are they're fluff basically these books are just they're fun they're fluff they're definitely chick lit i love all the teenage an antics from like the girls trying to smoke in the school because that's what makes them cool and then having to like cover it up with febreze or trying to sneak out of the school at night and just all the like security guards and stuff they have to get past to do that peace out i love you guys and keep reading bye